I wanted to follow up a little bit about what my colleague had asked about was the contract that, that's being put out for the dash cams and the mobile offices and that type of thing. My understanding was that it was a, it's a mobile dash camera, the body cameras, the laptop computers, and the mobile office system in, in the cars is all encompassed in this proposed contract. Is that correct? That's correct, uh, okay. Representative, yes. Do we have, um, do all of those, is there a system out there where all of those can talk to each other? We are currently in the process of putting together what, what we refer to as an RFP, a request for product, okay. um, to do exactly that. Uh, the, both the MVR and the uh, uh, mobile office computer are at end of life. Uh, they're, they're coming, uh, we, we have those systems in, in our patrol vehicles probably the last seven to eight years. Uh, some of them approaching nine years. Okay. Although they're holding up well, uh, the technology lifespan because of the, the environment that they're in, they're in a patrol vehicle being sure. bounced around. Outside and everything. Uh, it's, it's time to replace those devices. But is there an integrated system right now that you know of that all three? And, and what I'm trying to get is we had a, a big issue with the radio system not talking to each other and millions and millions of dollars going in. And I know you estimated the cost, uh, the 1919 and, and two for the rest. But the ability, my I don't know of a system, and when I've talked to folks, they don't know of a system that can do all of that together. That's what I'm, my concern is. We are optimistic that by putting this RFP out there to request from the, from the uh, uh, IT community, that they can, they can resolve those issues for us and okay. present us with a package that we can avoid all of those uh, pitfalls. Okay, and um, the cities that have had different types of systems, not only the, the car system, but also the body cam, have they integrated those systems that they can talk to each other, like the Philly and the Pittsburghs and the Harrisburgs that have body cam with their car? Do they interact that you're aware of? I, I'm not familiar with what uh, with other departments are utilizing at this point, but uh, one of the... So you haven't spoken to anybody that's done this before you? One of the requirements that we put forth in this RFP is to have that ability to integrate, and the reason that we want that is because it will cut down on the, the back end of the system, if you will, the, the, the number of devices that need to be in place so that they're compatible with one right. another. We're not operating... Uh, different systems. Okay. So we, but you haven't had that conversation necessarily. Just to come, I don't know if other states have done it. Have you found out if other states have done something like this? If, if, if no cities have done this? I'm, I'm looking for not to recreate the wheel, I guess. <laughs> Correct. And, and, and we are at the taxpayers' we, expense. Representative, we're looking to uh, avoid any of those potential pitfalls that we're speaking to here today. Okay. We, we don't want the interference issues. Once you introduce all of this technology into the confines of that vehicle, um, sometimes they don't play well with one another, for lack of a better term. Um, and with that understanding is that w the, the purpose of the RFP is to put our, what we want out there and let somebody in the IT world come up with a, a concept uh, that we would test. And once we're satisfied that that, uh, that, that would be appropriate for our needs, uh, it would be something we could pursue at that point. Okay, and so basically, so this contract is not looking to go into place. You, you were talking about the years and everything else. Two questions along with that. Um, there's no budget for this in, in your budget. Um, and, and 19 million uh, per year, for, even for the first two years, is, is quite a chunk of change. So where does that come from? That money would have to be found internally within the agency. So, and you're, since you're still looking at the information that you're talking about of them developing this all-encompassing system, I'm not imagining this is happening anytime soon. No, the RFP is, is just about ready for publication. It should be going out within the next month. And uh, one of the, the uh, requirements that we've tasked our folks with with creating that RFP is to bid it in, in uh, sections. In other words, the mobile office and the MVR dash cam are an absolute. Okay. The body cam must be, be able to be integrated, but we want to see what price structure those vendors have to offer. Okay. Um, moving on, I have two other issues that I quickly want to hit on. One, I'm not expecting you to have the whole list, but one of my uh, issues that, that you mentioned in your in your presentation uh, dealing with MOPEC and the uh, $5 million from the Motor Licensing Fund that goes back out to municipal uh, training uh, to reimburse our municipals. Um, is there a way we can get a list as to how that was dispersed? It was mentioned that you had a lapse, and then for the next two years you expect to spend the full $5 million. Um, is there a way to find out what... what um, uh, uh, municipalities were reimbursed for that with those dollars? 
Yeah, I don't think we have that readily available. And that's fine. I didn't expect you necessarily to rattle it off. Um, and the, my last question before I run out of time um, is the big issue of human trafficking. And um, obviously the issue that we deal with here, we are a Keystone state. We have a lot of traffic uh, coming through our state that does not stop um, or does stop in certain areas of, of truck stops and that type of thing. Um, it's a battle that we have fought, and, and there's a lot of pieces of legislation that are out there um, on this issue. If, if you could just kind of fill us in from the PSP perspective, perspective as to different things that you have been working on uh, to try and combat this huge issue. Obviously, you see end to end in our state um, and, and everywhere in between. Uh, and I'm sure this is an issue that um, has on your radar. Yes, the crimes associated with uh, human trafficking are very much on our radar. Ma we work uh, in a continuous cooperative effort with federally uh, federal agencies and local law enforcement. We've had training modules where we've pushed out to our people specific to this uh, crime. Uh, we have interdiction teams out there that are specifically trained to look for these type of criminal activities. Uh, we're, we're very aggressive with it. Okay. And, uh, and I didn't expect any less. I simply would just say that it's it's an issue that um, we've been fighting for for many, many years. And, and the more recognition and the more awareness of it, um, uh, the better that I think the state will be. Thank you.